once you've got the ball rolling, how would you then scale outside of, you know, maybe one particular country? Do you have to create a separate store to create a, uh, to then target a different location or can you kind of just expand outwards with the existing store? Yeah, so usually how we run it is different stores for different countries. Uh, it's just the easiest way to keep it. You can use like geolocation apps and stuff like that uh, that auto translate your pages. We prefer to just separate them all out. Um, also, payment methods are different for different countries. So, for example, if you was to start in Germany, Germany is like card, 70% uh, PayPal and like 30% Klarna. So you'd have that German store with uh, German product pages, German ads, German creatives, right? And all of that would run fine. Now, if it's working in Germany, and um, we had a student who started with us who was working while in Denmark. This guy's country hopped so far. He's done Switzerland now, he's done France. Um, and at the minute he's, yeah, he's done Switzerland, he's done France, he's done Denmark. So usually what I do is just duplicate the store, uh, open a new store, export the theme over, right? You can get a VA or you can do it yourself. Just go into translations, um, go into settings, languages, change the language to the new language and markets as well. Change over shipping because you'll have to obviously input the shipping. Um, from then, translate all your product pages, go into Shopify theme, uh, edit default theme content. It used to be like edit translations, but they mm. changed it. And use like an app like Deepal to translate from German to Dutch or whatever it is. Now with Dutch, it's a little bit different. Um, I say with Dutch, that's a language, but with Netherlands and Belgium, their payment methods are different. So it isn't really card and PayPal there. PayPal works, but it's not really card there. It's an app called ID. It's not an app, but it's a banking system called Ideal for mm. Netherlands. And for Belgium, it's called Bank Contact. For uh, Dutch buyers online, this is like, Ideal is like 80, 70, 80% of purchases, right? So you have to have those local payment methods. Um, and you just run the same thing, same creative, but just translate it over, same product page, translate it over um, and everything like that. And that way it keeps it separate because what you'll find is sometimes this store may be going down, but this store starting to rip, yeah. you know? And if you've got two at once, it's even best. And from then you can even scale out to countries like Denmark, which is pure card only, um, or Sweden, which is 90% um, Klarna, but Klarna is a little bit harder to get onto. So how do you decide when to scale horizontally versus vertically? Or can you kind of do both at the same time? Both at the same time. If, if you want, usually what I would do is it depends on the scale of the country. So if you're in a country that's a bit smaller, like Denmark or Switzerland, the scale isn't really there, right? I, I've done probably 5K days, 6K days, 7K days in Denmark, but it's not as consistent as you'd like because the population there is only 4 million, mm -hmm. 5 million, 6 million, right? So from then, once you know you're not going to be able to scale to the amount you want to get to, which for us is 10, 20K days, right? A couple hundred K per month. It makes sense to now vertically scale into a larger country, France, Germany, maybe UK or Australia or something like that, right? If you um, want to just increase the budgets uh, and stuff like that, you can also do that as well. But, you know, with Denmark, countries like Denmark, you'll notice it isn't, you know, it isn't as scalable. So it makes sense to, to do vertically. But going back to what you were saying before, if it's somewhere like Germany and you're already in a large country, uh, you can just go ahead and pump the budget. So but you don't have to worry about scale. You can get to 10, 20, 40K days in, in Germany alone. And once you have done that, got to those 10, 20K days, what is normally something that stops you just pushing the budget further? Is it the margin that's a restriction and you're kind of trying to stabilize the ROAS but can't quite get past that? Or are there other problems that maybe prevent scale at that point? Yeah, so it's usually... One is margins. You struggle dropshipping margins anywhere from 15 to 30%. You know, At high scale, you're probably not going to be at 30%. If mm. you're running paid ads, if you're doing organic, it's different. So margins will stop you. There's a sweet spot at, at which point you don't want to push it further because your ROAS will drop too much or your margins will drop too much. Um, if you've got enough margin, then you can push further. Second thing, once you're at scale, is it's it's mostly just outside stuff that starts breaking. Uh, you get ad accounts that just randomly get, yeah. <laughs> you know yourself, but ad accounts, 
they just get banned straight yeah. away. If Zuck knows you're making money, decides that, <laughs> you know what, this is not enough. Um, I, too much money, I'm making them too much money. Let me just ban the ad account. Um, <laughs> then it takes a few days to get the optimization back, the ads back mm. up again. Um, or you get PayPal holds, you know, maybe PayPal holds your money or you have cash flow issues. So one of our PayPal's have like a 30%, uh, 20 to 30% roll in hold. So technically, if you were talking in dropshipping margins, you're going to be at negative cash flow, right? Mm. You have to prepare for that because you can't just go into a ditch when you're getting PayPal's holding 20, 25% for 45 days. You know, you can with Amex, um, which is what we run, but you're going mm. to eventually come into issues. So it's more so outside factors that you're going to end up crossing. Maybe mm. Klarna gives you a hold as well. Um, or your page goes down or uh, you get a DMCA, or, you know, those types of outside factors. Um, or like you said, it could just be a, a, a question of margins and not being able yeah. to push. So many variables, right? It's very hard. You control the ones within your reach as much as possible, but sometimes there are things outside of your control that just uh, prevent you from scaling, which is always an issue.